Alright guys, Touch Grab here back again today. Hope you're enjoying your Saturday so far once again. And today we're going to talk about Benson and this situation that has gone down over the last 24 hours or so. Early in July, we got this that came out from Cronin at CDL Intel. Looking like Benson was leaving the CDL at a similar time really to the whole Momo situation went down that we discussed in depth about a month or so ago. But then as a result of this, uh, Benson does some tweets. He kind of disappears off the social media landscape for a little bit. Then he comes out with uh, well, a response talking about how he is leaving the CDL. And now yesterday he comes out with exactly what is next steps look like we kind of uh, you know theorized at the time this was not what i was expecting pretty cool to see but there was definitely some other storylines if you read between the lines like if you guys enjoy the video subscribe if you are new as always and let's hop into things then so benson tweeted on the first of july yesterday was full of emotion i got an incredible offer to top it off and he changes bio taking cod leak and activision out of it and all of this stuff then it comes out a couple of weekends later hey friends in case it is not clear i am no longer with activision in the cdl unfortunately i cannot say much due to advice from my legal counsel and that should tell you everything what i can say the past week has been the best week of my life hands down and more info coming soon so very interesting tweet i don't really know what to make of this at the time seems kind of cryptic in a sense like that should tell you everything all this kind of stuff um and you know like pot off uh, you know, burns over at united comes back with a heart emoji but pretty much no one else uh, from the cdl came in replied to this tweet and say like you know good luck for your next steps and everything like that so it was kind of interesting that burns was pretty much the only one to do so and then uh well crone tweeted this out a few days earlier we just get the wave emoji here from benson and then we get this which is another interesting tweet on the same day like he's kind of like rambling all over the place kind of an interesting one much love to the broadcast team as well love them all so much love to all the cod fans so then this is what he comes out and confirms yesterday let's go through this in full detail here let's start from the top so many people have been asking me what my future plans are i can happily say today i have a few things in the works one of which i can share with you today after working in esports for almost a decade now the one thing i have noticed it's how difficult it can be for talent to improve their craft, whether it's hosting, analyzing, or commenting. Receiving effective feedback, which helps you improve in the short term and the long term, has always been missing. I think he was talking about something similar on the um, the podcast most recently with Pac-Man and Nameless, saying like how you just kind of have to learn it yourself and don't really have um you know you don't really have an easy way to make it up in the scene without uh, guidance from other people in a similar position. Throughout my career, I would like to think I have helped aid so many different types of talent from so many different esports improve their craft. Although Though I'm definitely not the perfect talent, I have so much experience in the industry, I feel if I applied myself to helping others, both up-and-coming talents and veterans alike, I could have a positive impact. With that being said, I'm going to start a talent development company with the aim of helping all different types of broadcasters within esports. Whether it's working with developers to get the best out of their talent and having everyone aligned on achieving what's best for their show, or working closely with individuals and commentary partners to help them reach their maximum potential. I want to thank everyone who's helped me come to this decision and encouraged me to do so, showing nothing but faith and positivity towards the concept and in me. This is something I've been thinking about for at least two years. I want to thank, thank every single talent who I've had the privilege of working with that has told me I've helped them progress forward and improve. I'm massively looking forward to this and cannot wait to start one of my new adventures, only one of my new adventures, so interesting to see what the other ones could potentially be. It goes without saying that this is not me ending the chapter of commentary within esports, as I still have a few things to consider. More information coming soon. So this is certainly interesting stuff we see some replies to this about the next step and Benson says not an agency I won't be signing talent more working with them to help them improve now um okay when you look at this from another perspective it does get kind of interesting right because we have this whole situation with uh, him being released at a similar time to the Momo stuff and what exactly is going on there and then we get uh, this announcement from Benson about a month later talking about exactly what's going on where this does get quite intriguing though is when you look at it from the perspective of well if you're going to leave the CDL in the middle of the season on your own accord you would have thought that you would have something particularly well planned out or a very good reason to leave the CDL right in the middle of the season just you know, a month and a bit before champs right you would imagine if that was the case you would have had a very solidified reason and you'd have to think you'd have to be thinking I've got to leave now and I've got to start this business now because I have potential clients on the way I have the branding all ready to go it's ready to launch however as we see from Benson's announcements he doesn't have clear branding who knows exactly what this company is going to be called um, you know he doesn't seem to have you know have to like clients ready to go and all of this kind of stuff we see 
some replies here from uh, Ryan Fools, for example, saying I've learned so, so much from Ben and attribute so much of his personal and my personal improvement to the things he has taught me over the past couple of years. But it hardly looks like Benton has the branding and everything ready to go or he would have launched his company already, right? So you look at it from that perspective and you're thinking, well, maybe there's something else going on here and the reason why he's launching his own thing is because he can't get a, a job or, you know, can't get an opportunity back in esports for whatever reason. And that does come back, of course, to this that came out, uh, well, 17 days ago now from Amelia Rose on the Reddit that talked about the other class, the other caster that Rod Slasher Breslau leaked as being fired for sexual misconduct was in fact Benson. So we talked about this clip from Slasher at the time and he was saying on stream with someone that there was two people fired and we were like, who's the other one, right, given the situation that went down. And uh, well, this is uh, this is what was said at the time and Amelia then followed up yesterday on Twitter saying, yeah, I'm not going to let you slither away from what you've done. Good luck with that. And then followed up with block me, do whatever. When victims are afraid to speak, I will be here making sure that people do not forget I have absolutely nothing to lose. So, uh, well, that is the situation as it stands right now. I'm intrigued to see what the next steps look like. Will Benson manage to start his own company? You know, he did talk about opportunities potentially coming back into esports commentary, so we'll see how well that goes. But to me, it just seems uh, very suspect, right, that he would just happen to leave the CDL, of course, at a scene and a game that I imagine he loves, in the middle of the season to explore an opportunity of a brand that he doesn't even seem to have particularly well solidified and well thought out yet. You know, lo no logo, no brand name, nothing like that ready to go um so uh, yeah it certainly looks like something more is going on in my opinion but i'm intrigued to hear your thoughts in the comment section below like if you guys enjoyed the video subscribe if you're new as always i will see you next time